Welcome back, friends, to Nenezia. We had a big change in King Bragi the last time. We had become zealous because we didn't, we wouldn't doubt, we wouldn't doubt Thor and Odin and all these great gods of the Norse realm. We may have grown fat now. We have probably, yeah, as they say, the the the, the dad fupa or something like that. <laughs> but we're still. A little bit at least we're hungry we're hungry to become a paragon of virtue we're skilled at war we're writing a book about war we're a tough soldier we should be we should be able to do something and we have looked at something that has happened right before our eyes King Kajitan the Mary of Novgorod a Slavic pagan and also quite weak is also actually in trouble and this means we're going to prepare and how are we going to prepare well we are sending our troops here to south sergio let's see if we can maybe have someone here who brings the movement up a little bit send someone over not really. Well, our wife will lead the fray here. And once we're there, we'll, if that is still the case, declare war and try to get some land for our next unlanded sons. Let's have a look at these sons. Well, our heir, of course, it is a little bit slow, but he's a masterful diplomat. He's a great eminence. He also has an heir, our grandson, the heir to the county of Bjarmia so far. And look at our other sons. Yeah, our grandson is now there. Sturbjorn. He's growing to be some kind of warrior now. But it's taking time as he's... He hasn't had the best luck in life. Scrungles is still a good one. Of course, we're also focused on, on, on Bragi, Bragi's son, our grandson, who could become so much more than, than any of us would have ever hoped for. We're looking forward to supporting him as well. And this young man, as, as soon as we have the time and the, the means, probably after our wrecking of Novgorod, hopefully, we should get him a, some kind of crown as well. That would only be good. That would only be good. He's, he's the next in line. He's basically the hope of Nanezia after our son. That would be something that we would really, really consider. And So apart from that, apart from the, the crusade we want to do against Novgorod, we also have something else to do. I mean, researching cultural tech is all good and all, but we're a zealot now, and that means our seer can can hunt apostates, and should probably, and it also helps our goal getting more piety, of course, a bit, but the main thing is that is something she would do now for a zealot. then i mean we can we can see to it at least a bit we have built that temple we can support it a bit at least at least temple walls i mean that's something that's something we should do and um, after the war we might also look into this and a great temple is probably something unreachable for us but a great stone circle also represents our faith quite nicely and it's probably something we can we can build. It'll take 21 years to build, but it will be a great work that we leave behind for our faith. And we're at the moment still focused enough on even if we said yes, because we want to return to the to, to war after our our inner meditation. And maybe after that zealous war. We still 
we still believe it is a good good path we're following now and because of that we want a favor from Bothild of Kulloy And that is also something we've been looking into. Revoking titles should be okay for religious reasons. I will support you in the council. She will do that. And this means we should be we should be safe to revoke the title for that. Okay. The right to enforce religious control upon subjects and may now seize the titles of heathens and heretics freely. We'll do that. And Bothild has voted for it. So now, I mean, that's what a salad would do, and so we're doing that. And my modest attempts to write poetry were never meant to be published in any way, but wherever I go, bards and minstrels are reciting or singing in my poems. I mean, we're passable. It's, it's not... It's not, and we have that classic of poetry book. Fame and fortune awaits, or my poetry was never meant for others. No, I think I think as we are as we're learning, and we're quite okay at, at diplomacy as well. I mean, but I mean, it's fame and fortune. That's maybe the wrong motivation, right? I mean, we're humble. And the more prestigious choice is actually this. So poetry is actually more humble. So this is a little bit skewed here. It's it's odd. I mean, the poetry is it's okay if it's published to others. It's not it's not mandatory, but um, we wouldn't say fame and fortune awaits. But because the fame, the prestige, is going going this way. This way is, is more the diplomatic way. It's it's something probably connected to his faith. And this is why we're also becoming a poet now. The, and we're also writing that book. I mean, maybe we could include something. Something there. Something important. And the laws of Nenezia have approved the institution of the religious control mandate law that brings us, brings us further to our to our pious goals. Your vassal, Gidya Demutara, has expressed her dissatisfaction with your choice of advisors. She claims that she's more qualified than the majority of your council and that she would make an excellent chancellor. She would be a controversial choice. An excellent chancellor? Ah, uh, an excellent chancellor. Of all things, I mean, if she would have said she's an excellent seeress, yeah, maybe, uh, no, absolutely not. That's our son you're talking about here. Nope, just not at all. I know that she, she wants to influence, but she would be good as a seeress and as nothing else. Oh my god, Dark died. How how did we get him here? I think he was just a just just a random warrior that was loyal to us. Had a bad case of the flu. Yeah, the flu can be terrible, let me tell you that. My voice is still recovering. Princess Aslaug. Yeah, Ormer's wife. My aunt has offered to travel to the Xi'ai Empire on a mission to bring glory to the kingdom of Nenezia. Please, my lord, she says, let a humble servant strengthen your relations with the emperor of the Xi'ai Empire. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, she's not the best diplomat. She's a mastermind theologian. Go with my blessing. She's she's probably she's probably a good choice. We feel that maybe she can bring uh, the Norse gods over there. Maybe that's it. That's what we want to see here. Castle town in Onega. 
Everything's nice. Everyone knows that I've spent years and years directing the work on my book, when today I am presented with a final product. Excellent. I commend my scribes while I gently leave through on feudal warfare. Perhaps I have found my calling. We have that book. That book's gonna go to our son as well. We're uninspired now, though. So let's see. Let's let's have a look on feudal warfare. This tome contains multiple chapters highlighting the many strengths of feudal tactics of war. But educational critics argue that it's a bit judgmental. I mean, come on. It has a quality of three. It increases moral damage and moral defense by ten, and martial by one. It's a great book. It's a great book. We have written a really great book. And that's something that's something really remarkable. We'll keep it in our library because we really we we refer everyone to it. Everyone that doesn't want to hear. And uh, <clears throat> we'll be sure to and probably the poetry that, that we included there has even helped. Bello or zero. Can we even occupy that? I'm, I'm really not sure about that. But, 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 but. What we want to do now I mean, the first thing is, is the Great Stone Circle. The second thing is... How do we get that done? He's defending against a lot. And what are these wars about, basically? That, that's something I want to know. Defending against High Chief Alachos of Twer. That's this guy. Wow, as if defending a... But so many things, and I'm, I'm... I mean, Tikwini is free now. It's oh, that's a peasant revolt. That's occupied by a peasant revolt, really. Yeah, so that's something we could take, right? These guys are moving to below O zero. And they belong to Kajitan the Merry. So that's his main army here. Hmm. Well, that also basically means we, we must we must get a lot more troops. Let's see. That's two forty one. 241. Let's actually move over to Romney then. They're moving in here. Why don't I, why don't they? I'm not really not sure what's going on there. And what's happening here? Jal Stain. What what is he doing? What are you doing, Stain? In Velsk Vladimir and war over Pinega. He's attacking Vladimir? What does he... Uh, is he mad? My goodness. Well then. It's the time we need. We want to take below or zero and increase the moral authority of Germanic. Of course as well. The council will vote yes. And has done so. And we want our troops. 
Ah, come on. Taking everything here. Come on, let's send them down. We need just about everyone. Bragi will lead this troop from Kuloi, of course. Here we go. It's the war we deserve. What in Westmanland? Yeah, that's something that has to take care of itself, unfortunately. I mean, it's not that, that we don't support him here. It's a definitely a good idea. If if it if it can pull that off, welcome. Please do that. Yes. Um, can we take over here? Yeah, we we can send them over. It's definitely a good idea. Hmm, that's the biggest leader here. Let's see. You got a siege leader, Hamelin, <coughs> in the middle. Yeah, we want that. Definitely, you want the siege here. And Renfrid, oh, the heavenly. Renfrid, the, the heavenly giant. She could become a very attractive shield maiden. Being so gigantic. Not as fertile, but she could become... Yeah, why not? I mean, she's... She's basically meant for it, right? Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Renfrid the Heavenly. So that was free. They are going to borrow Witchy. We are going to Below Zero. And Bragi is also coming. And the rest of the troops here as well. We've got that going on. And Rouen is in new hands of Chief Freri of Rouen. Very young. Well, that might slip from our hands. Go for the wall goal first, but maybe we maybe we'll wait. Maybe we'll, we'll move to South Zerja. Yeah, let's move over to South Zerja actually. How much of defense is here? And we can even attempt an assault. News from China. Oh yeah, we've we've sent someone over there. Or owned, I think. Rumors of the military might of the Xia Empire's proving to be a forceful diplomatic tool in itself. After what seems like brief negotiations, Chief Inzai of Vazugan has peacefully agreed to become a tributary state of the Middle Kingdom. The couriers whisper that they can only hope that the relationship between the chief and the great emperor be a fruitful one. So, be it. Ooh. So many tributaries. It's crazy. It's really crazy. So we're the Insats true. We're, we're coming if everything goes bad. So we got the Below Zero tribe. That's that's a good start. Now we're going to the temple. An apostate we found. Botulf of Washka. Who, who is that? The Chancellor of Velsk? What's he doing? He's, he's Germanic. See Agila bursts into your chambers, flanked by several warriors dragging bottles of Vashka with them in chains. My king, I have procured irrefutable evidence that this man consorts with the fellowship of hell. What shall be done with him? Wow, he's a miserable man, he's possessed. Mm. Wow, I mean... We are, we're definitely a zealot, but this is one of our relatives. I mean, our kinsmen. You can't just bring him down like that. Hmm.
We can imprison him. Throw the apostate in the dungeon. There's that. Alfield seeks to kill... And Hamelin seeks to kill Rickle Falkerson. And something's going on. We can imprison Hamelin. What, what does Hamelin want to do? He's got a pact, yeah, but... Hamelin wants to kill our cousin. Why does he want to kill a child? I mean, I'm... Yeah, I mean, that, that should be stopped. That's just ridiculous. Um, so there's that. Hammond is our siege leader. He's, he's so useful at that. So we have taken that over. Let's move over here. We're staying here in the background. Guarding what we can. And look at that. That seems quite nice at the moment. Scrungle's Brug is on Dovre. Needs an education focus. Yeah, that's one of our more, more hopeful ones. He could be he could be intriguing for all that we know. And as he's playful. The question is, do we want that? He, he would become a good schemer, definitely. A tribalist. He could also become a diplomat, but he's not good at that. Yeah, let's give him an intrigue education here. Maybe he could become a spy master one day. Who knows? Who knows? What is that? Occupied by High Chief Alachos of Dfuer. Kajetan has called in Jaros Lovelish Queen. Mm, she's not the strongest. But she's capable, definitely. Yeah, we're not in a hurry, we're we're really patient. There's something different now about Princess Aslaug. As we discuss her travels to the Xia Empire, she speaks passionately about the Chinese custom of celebrating their god's birthdays. They hold festivals where both actors and priests paint their faces and perform songs of magic ritual together. Oh my lord, you must let me go back. Uh, um... Is she needed here? I mean, our friend will go with her. She can go. I understand the desire to follow your dreams. It is fascinating. And maybe you can teach them one thing or two about, about the Nordic faith. Is he gone as well? Ormo has also went away. Goodbye, Ormo, our friend. You're now the Xia Empire. Wow. Can negotiate with Botwolf. And he will not get anything. Is that? Do we have... Are they moving here? No. Moving back there. Well then. It is what it is, right? I'm moving to Beziki. Do they do there? Nothing. We must besiege here. Siege of Baba Yevo. Can we catch them? No. We'll move over here and here. We kind of say, let's see, we have Yavlad and Urva, and we would like 
we would probably feel safer if we had our queen on our side. And Yavlet and, and maybe more Leo or some some friend, right? Over Yavlad. Aza and Yeah, more Leo, why not? He he's definitely a good choice for something like that. Pictish one. The army that will win the day, that's, that's something. Marshal Dark told me about his ideas. Dark the evil. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about. He was adamant in his belief that this would improve the military. Well, then, um, it should be good. It should be good. We'll adopt that. It's fine. God, he's got mild cancer. Rouen has been converted to the Germanic faith. That's nice. Let's see about that. And we need to make this quick, but we need also to be careful, very careful. Let's see, what is here? The Vladimirian army has come. Yeah, that's... Mm, we're losing ground a bit, but we're also gaining. Uglich tribe. We have a couple of people now here, and that's good. Yaros Lovell. How many men are in this tribe here? Wow, what a levy. What about this? Beziki. That's a much smaller tribe. Yeah, we should we should go in there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we've got a couple of people now in in prison again, and we should see if we could maybe give her back to the. I mean, she has cancer anyway. Maybe we can ransom her still before she dies. She might need help. We're not that bad. And we need the gold. I accept paying your ransom for the safe return of the chieftains. Yeah, that's fine. And large numbers oh, of the defenders have gone down due to starvation. That's good. And it's possible to rank up in our society, my goodness. We could become the hero. And that's something we really much... Our table's already full, veteran. Are you saying you want to fight me for the spot? Says Fingal of Shetland. Ah, uh, duel. Yes, that is what I'm saying. A masterful short sword too felt an extension of my arm and meeting Fingal's eyes... I saw they were full of apprehension. I moved suddenly, and in a whirlwind of blows, they were down. Once it is done, I roll in victory. Yeah, I walk away victorious. Yeah, there's mercy for, for the good chief Fingal. You've proven yourself worthy of the wolf warriors. I admit defeat, and hereby step back from the title you might now acquire. Use it well. But the hero of the wolf warriors now crazy. We're, we're the hero, my goodness. Uh, on the other hand, we have two. We're one hero, it seems. Um, the call to glory, the, the inspiring meliorism. Maybe we could inspire meliorism in our son now. Can we do that? We would like to do that. But not now, as we're going to go for more, even, more piety. Yeah, I know. So now, going over here, Beziki, and here, Tor Zok. A 
the rest of Kuloi though prospers. As people flock to Kuloi, so too do the clergy. In fact, so many have arrived that with a donation to get them started, Kuloi could become a notable center of worship. Of worship. Odin wills it. And one of my commanders, Molio, has improved significantly. Nice, he's a flanker now. Nice, our, our friend has improved at that advanced age. He's truly a, a, a great commander. My liege, the people of Constantinople have progressed beyond our own technological level. I've managed to study their advancements, and the documents enclosed here should help us reach their level. I hope you will find this to your satisfaction. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, we get 50 points. Wonderful, look at that. 50 cultural advancements. There's more plots. Army of Hamelin is doing very well. Now let's go over to Torzok. The tribe of Torzok. That is hopefully oh goodness. Can we can we flee? We can't flee. Because that's definitely too much for us. If they add in, then we're gonna be ruined here. So we need to both move back. But that's not good. Okay, then we'll go then we'll go this path. And you will go here. And maybe we can get some more some more help from these parts. Can we? Maybe. Ooh. Nigger. Bjarmia. Kuloi. Mezen. Mezen, maybe. Ashka. What? Oh, yeah, I've imprisoned that man. Snooper. Here, cannon. Go over here and and yeah, come. We need all of you, basically. I think that's what's the reality of it. Move over here. They are coming and we don't want to fight them because that's a little too much now. Tika, a prince of Nenezia, is now also ripe for something good. What is he good at? He's, is he good at learning? Not that much. He is good at fighting, but it would not be his character as he's timid. Is he good at diplomacy? Well, he kind of is, but he also is not. What a strange character he's become. Hmm, what will help him? Well, probably we're, we're maybe looking to learning to a little bit, so he may learn. They're going to Beziki. The daughter was born to Prince Falki, our uncle, and Princess Birgitta named Goli. Well, if we can roll the fate, then we will roll the fate. And uh, what does the fate say? The d8, it says it's a six. And the six is humility. They are moving there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are moving there. There's no doubt about that. And now this is this is actually an okay move.
they're going away again 93 percent allowing the wolf borage to be growing in numbers the wolf warriors yeah that would be a great support too but let's now see what we can do they are moving away now to Tikuwini. what do they want there I am at a loss 7,000 that's we can definitely resist there it's there's no question about that move in will you we have Bragi we have Gudfrid we have more Leo Gudfrid is well yeah he's not that good in here so we'll get Molio at the flank. I think Molio has learned to, to be a flanker now, yeah. And we'll have Gudfrid here. Then who's coming? Hamelin, Javlat and Urvar. Coming as the Ensats and these troops can join in. Wish us luck for this beautiful battle. You can also join in, will you? Will you go for that? Need to be careful. The price of decadence, the ruling dynasty of the Mus Safradin Sultanate, has been overthrown by the zealous and hard living tribesmen of the Akbarid dynasty. The decadent Sultanate, what bloated fools. Yeah, bloated fools. Let's see. We're leading it. The sword of the All Father up against enemies of the faith. And they are actually not, not that good. Not that good. Led by shamans, not warriors. What good can that be, really? Also with the advantage... We're over, over top, over the top winning here. And let's see, Purgio, Purgio. Can we ransom him? No, not even. Was captured in battle, is now my prisoner. He will make a suitable sacrifice to Odin. Szczesny Braniki was also captured in battle. Yeah, a suitable sacrifice. And now we have won that. And that's enough. We'll enforce the demands. Peace. We have a new temple, the temple of Fedosievo, and the county of Bilo Ozero. We won. Taking that from the wrong believers. can go back now what a beautiful victory that was oh, we have the written news left here and oh, I don't know we, we our, our our queen can can bring them back we kind of have to have to meditate on what to do with that now and uh, Belo Osiro is a Slavic country. This means that we will go and proselytize there. Sacrifice these to the gods. We have a dimension size of nine. Of nine? Why nine? Have we gotten another? I don't know. Is that true? Which, which, what, what does belong to us now? Has something happened here? Oh yeah, we have the temple as well, of course. The temple, yeah. I mean, 
There's something to be said about that. I mean, we have we have Gila, the series of Nenezia. We could appoint Damutara. Hmm. Actually, we need we need someone good in there, someone with high learning in that temple, and that is loyal. Maybe Swanhild, our half sister. Goodfried will leave us then as well. Well, that's it's not too bad, actually. I mean, we really like him and he's a good commander, but... He can go there. The Temple of Fedos Yevo. Yeah, we'll grant her land of time. We could also look for... I mean, maybe one of our daughters. Let's see. No, it's not that time. It's as Swanhild is actually not. She's our half sister too, and and we'll give her the Temple of Fedosievo. Here we go. What? We need a new commander? Was he a commander or what? My goodness. Oh, now, whom are we going to take there? Stain the Jarl of Welsk? I mean, he's a mastermind theologian. On the other hand, we have a syncretist here, a young syncretist and, and tough soldier. That's maybe something to consider. Hmm. Don't really have good commanders, right? I mean, this man is wounded, stressed. And he's only 23, he will recover. Waldemar the Courtier. I mean, the Jarl of Welsk really loves us, so I, I think we'll give this to, to him. He's only one worse, and he's a, he's a soldier. So he'll learn these things. Let's give him that. We need a new herdman here as well. And the chief of Ferryar, maybe. So that's nice. That's really nice. Wrong type of holding. The county of Below Zero. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a tribe, I think. Mm. Question is, can we build? We can build a new holding and destroy the settlement. Mm. Can we just do that? Oh, but we need to build a holding there. We need to build a castle or something. Hmm. Can we not? I mean, we have the stone hill fort. We can upgrade it when we when we actually have converted the county. And that's what we'll do. What does that army here do? Whoop. Whoops it do. Can spell that. Expand that. Expand that. That's these 25 men. And Vladimir is kind of suffering as well. <laughs> I really like that. It's it's so cool. It's a little bit crazy. Prisoner Bottle is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations. Still has a good opinion for us. My opinion is very bad, though. 
because he's a known demon worshipper. And we're a salad. Ah. I mean, but we're merciful enough. We are, we're still humble and, and patient and things like that. So we'll have him there, but not too bad. He's a known demon worshipper, but he's still one of one of the Dovres. Mm -hmm. Negotiating with this guy, Hraffen of Hraffen's host, who's not even a capable warrior. You will not get nothing, you know? Absolutely nothing. That would be a shame if we would give him we would give him something. And now the spoils should come, right? The spoils. So ooh, Botwolf. He would be able to free himself, I know, but Reina, we have we have some kind of young Pomeranian here. Hmm. Let's ransom her. That's a good idea. And who's that? Chind Paya Mokshid, a concubine. An attractive concubine. We could declaim poetry. <laughs> no, we could. I mean, maybe we could convert her. We could recruit her and then convert her. Because she seems like, and that was, of course, very important. A good woman, but so undiplomatic, but so attractive too. And question is, maybe we can convert her. Recruit, declaim, humiliate, torture, execute, release. Hmm. I mean, can we recruit her? That, that would be needed, right? She would be a scholarly. She would be a great catch. But, to burn her would also be great, right? In in a blot. Hmm. That's the question. But we are more. I think we're more than like the temperate type of zealot. So we want to recruit her and then convert her. Is that even an option? I hope it is. Rulers cannot demand conversion. Okay, it, it we cannot. Then she stays in prison and will, she will be burned one day. No doubt about that. Yes, there's no other way out here. Stain of Wealth has formed an alliance with Chief Javlat of Mesen. That's good. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, they're still the below O zero tribe. Oh, I knew there was a huge bear somewhere near the caves in Kuloi. A courtier of mine had insisted to come along when my men and I went hunting for the bear. Prince Hawken of Finland, our nephew, wants to join us. Do we like him? Yeah, you can come along. The beast was huge, bigger than any bear I had ever seen. Fought him bravely, but only managed to slay him after he wounded several of my men. Could not save anyone. Everyone. But I managed to prince, save Prince Hawken. Yeah, yeah. We're looking out for him. That's a question of honor. So this guy wants to arrange a marriage. Hartwig of Denmark. Twin O. Oh, Ellen Hamel, Hamelin's daughter. 
Oh, yeah, of course, of course, why not? How about Valdemar? He's also now, he's come of age. He's a good, he can be a good commander in, in time. Oh, he is already a commander. Well, that's that's fine. Um, what will we do now? We'll give him a wife, maybe. Or is that is that a thing? Arrange a marriage between him and and whom? Actually, yeah. There's no one there for him to marry. Does not matter. What about Vladimir now? It's it's so odd. What, what just happened there? It's occupied. Now it's not occupied anymore, and that is the Vladimirian army. Okay, fine. What has happened here? Look at this. The Khazarian revolt has taken over, and Tarmac has that. And that means something. Something very important. I mean, it's of the Germanic faith, but it's also of the Tengri. What is the ruler's faith? It's Tengri. And that means we have to take Tsilma home right before this stabilizes. And that's what we'll do in the coming episode. It will be a very nice task for King Bragi III, the sword of the Old Father and the Zealot, to, to take this from the Khazarians. That's the next step we'll take. It's a good step, and it will bring us closer to become a paragon of virtue. So, thank you for watching, my friends, and happy gaming to you. Let's, let's celebrate the glory of Nanetsia in that, that will be coming to us in the future when we defeat the evil Khazarians and Tarmac. Kazarian revolt. See you soon, my friends, and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan, signing out.